Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read. Yeah, to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, rare hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, mean to have my back. Because I have yours. This is you. That's in separation with your person. The universe is saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. Practice forgiveness. This is your true love. However, make them prove it. Whoa. That's a lot for you to do. And let's see where it comes to the situation. And, and the reason why is because they were pretending at some point, but you sh somebody shut it down. I'm pretending to be happy and that, that all is fine, but I'm miserable. So there you have it. Somebody is pretending and it says shut down here. It says, I'm swearing off dating, have no desires to be with anyone. So this person, because you've walked away from them, the universe is saying you can forgive them. It's okay to forgive them. But if you forgive them, they have to prove the love that you had or the love that they have for you. And so, again, even though they're not seeing anyone, they have to prove that energy because at some point there was a situation in love. So I'm going to go. Whoa. Booking premises, premises. Y'all know that song. Anyway, cut through. Emotional, mental clarity, secrets come to the light and breakthrough. Um, so there was some type of secret that came to the light and the bottom of the deck is freedom. Wanting to be free, not ready to, wanting to be free, not ready to commit, com, uh, excuse me, not ready for commitment, independent, happy and single. So this person was happy and single, pretending to give people all of these different broken promises. This is a lot here. Dry spell, um, sexual abstinence, no action in love, long time being single, uh, cursed. I don't believe this is cursed. I just... I mean, you take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But it says a string of bad relationship, karmic cycles, and evil eye. I believe that this person has been um, feeling some type of way because they know that you're able to manifest certain things. And they've been manipulating you in certain situations. So it says manipulating outcomes, casting love spells, attracting love interests. They are used to somebody telling them that, you know, affirmations and, you know, all of the, the energies that you have. Uh, brought together this came out of my last two reads love offer and children did you see me shuffle I shuffled this energy but anyway the curse cast and spells is you um, using you know watching tarot is what people think um, watching tarot you know uh, sending strength and healing but the thing is is that you have to know the path that you're on and the promises and the, and the way that you have to protect yourself they um, you know you want it a love offer from them you wanted all these different things the spell work the dry spell this all comes with um if you ask me when it comes to spell work you you manifesting doing something different that they're not used to doing and so you know when it comes to certain situations they looking at you as you're the problem when it's really and truly them being the problem and they have to get to a point to where they realize that you know them shutting you down and you them actually getting to a point to where they were pretending and now they're realizing that you're their true love they want you know you want proof that they're ready to uh, move forward uh, and not hold on to the memories of the past or um, you know the promises the broken promises of the past misleading you into feeling like they're uh, reliable when they really are unreliable and you can never trust them or never count on them for anything so the way of you healing and dealing with things were considered um, a different belief system and they're not used to that they're used to um, being a certain way and having their cake and eat it too a heart fail which is intimacy it says passion coming into union chemistry and missing you so they're missing you but at some point um, in hiding feeling guilty and no communication they were avoiding the situation and have been avoiding it based upon distraction. So that's why the universe is saying to make them prove it because they are pretending to be all of this stuff and saying that they wanted this and they wanted that. But once you gave it to them, um, this card stayed down. Yeah, once you gave it to them, a situation is about to explode. Shit's about to pop off uh, up in flames. So once you gave them the energy that they wanted, now they're ready to... Uh, have a meltdown and they want more from you and so again they miss you and they realize the chemistry that you had when 
Um, yeah, and they're realizing what fakeness was around them. Bottom of the deck recording. Announcement, expression, and revealing. So they're going to embarrass you. <laughs> it seems like emotional intelligence. So they're realizing that you had to cut through the BS and avoid them and have some type of emotional intelligence. But now they're going to try to come back and express their love to you around everybody. But that's not what you want. You just want them to prove it by them telling you exactly what it is and making you feel loved and making you feel some type of way and not making you feel unwanted or things like that. So it is about to blow up on you because they're going to try to come back around and be like, I can prove my love to you. You know what it reminds me of, like how Offset did Cardi B at that point. He came on stage and tried to prove his love, but look what he turned around and did. So the universe is saying make them prove it. And at that same point, you need to accelerate and, you know, um, catch up on the things that you've been missing out of. And your approach has to be different when it comes to somebody who was unreliable. So reliable, unreliable here, broken promises. And now they want to be reliable and say they feel this way. Good news and trust and expectations. So you're looking at things in a different light to try to see if this is real love or um, you know, the surprises that they're going to have for you and the joy that they bring you or going to bring you, they have to prove it. And so you're trying to see if it's worth you being able to forgive them and your emotional, it's like you're, they're playing with your intelligence. They played with your intelligence, your emotional intelligence at one point. And so now here it is, this card is on the bottom. Yeah. Damn, that place sucks. Five of cups energy. You were miserable. You know, you were miserable having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness, but yet still constantly letting them come through and, you know, play the games with you. And you're just like, no, I'm not going to go ahead and do this anymore. So it does suck when you are in a situation to where you feel like, you know, you've been disappointed and you live in regret from giving somebody so much of your time that they didn't take it for granted. So you move forward, which is acceleration, kind of like the chariot energy. You move forward, yeah, too. And this is water energy, soulmates. Yeah, you move forward from this situation of thinking that this was your soulmate and that you guys had this type of connection to a cup's energy. You know, you move forward from that and, you know, mutual attraction and understanding that, you know, you can't make somebody love you, you know, or you can't wait for somebody to love you. Yeah, Ten of Wands, energy, bottom of the deck is star. Being optimistic, still in the process of justice, consequences of their actions. This police card keeps coming out. It came out in the in this card deck, but it was an actual police card. But justice, consequences of your actions um, or their actions are being, um, you know, are being, you know, questioned. And so here it is. We have heavy burdens. My, my pretty is behind me. Yeah, there was some type of struggle when it came to Five of Pentacles, five years of dealing with this type of situation. And here it is, the Page of Swords, having clarity. And it says development of information and contracts, actually really seeing what it is that, you know, you've been going through and waiting patiently, Seven of Pentacles. So it could be 12 years or could be five years of struggle, seven years waiting for this person. You know, the five years of struggle and getting this person to get all this energy out and then wait impatiently seven of pentacles energy seven years and then comes to understanding that this is just a big burden that you have to go through heavy burden gardens ten of wands energy you know going through these burdens and understanding that you know um somebody has to want what you want or you know you just have to walk away so close to seven years of dealing with this and now you're just like you know the proof that you found when it came to the situation, the memories that you share, you know, the path that they're on, but you also know the path that you're on and that you have to protect yourself based upon the broken promises of the past. And so just because you guys have a good energy and intimacy, you know, the energy is there, but that's not, you know, lust and love is two different things. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pull from, let's see what card deck I want to pull from. Um, I'll pull from the love situation deck to see, um, this is the situation deck. This is the situation. That's the love situation. Um, I'll pull from here to see what was going on. This is by Intuitive Envisions 1111, and that one is by Maruk X. Um, and I can't, I got these. I don't remember where I got those, but this is, oh, I can't think of her name. Anyway, single. Yeah, this person, their current status was single. They kept playing that they were single, 
and yours is too but this is toxic energy of what they went through so you were trying to be optimistic in regards to dealing with this person but but you knew it was unhealthy behavior the poison apple right and you were in denial not facing the truth and um, trying to be irrational and reasoning to why they are the way that they are and it could be based upon again childhood energies them afraid of love and them thinking that because they you who you are who you are that you're doing some type of energies of some type of spell work you're listening to tarot you're 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 manifesting things you're under the full moon you have candles going you have all these different things crystals and things like that and they're like oh you're some type of um, different type of being we weren't raised like that I wasn't raised like that but again they're trying to deny the fact that they are childish and they have childhood energies that they need to fix and so therefore you know the consequences of their actions again just this energy you have to be the one to say you know what you go ahead and, and I'm going to do the right thing if you don't want to do the right thing I'm going to do the right thing and I'm going to move forward with whether with or without you this is a spiritual gifts uh uh, card deck yeah chakra work you're going to work on your chakras that's the reason why i pulled the crystal deck and coaching it says you're being called to explore transformational mentorship to bring clarity insight and healing for growth and transformation and that's where you're being optimistic of trying to find things and shut down other energies and the chakra work is here a human design expert you're being called to explore uncovered in it innate traits and gifts to encourage one to work with their natural states of being for greater alignment. And that's what you were doing in regards to showing them, you know, this uh, this energy of, you know, what you like and what makes you feel better. And, you know, whether it be from changing your food to changing the herbs that you eat to putting crystals around your house to having the salt lamps around to doing all these different things and saying your affirmations before you go to sleep or, uh, you know, removing I'm not going to say really prayer because prayer is considered affirmation, but removing certain energies that you were taught as a child in order to try to learn a different way, which is the hierophant energy, unlearn to relearn, changing your belief system. So because of the struggle and you knowing that this person needs more um, spiritual help than mental, they need mental help and spiritual help, but the physical part of the trying to show them that you can be sexual, you can be loving, you can be all of these different things and trying to show them something different. They're taking it as you trying to do all of this spell work and trying to trap them and all this other stuff. So they're not going to do that until they get to a point to where you totally remove them out of your life. And so it says chakra work. You're being called to examine and uncover the energies, energy imbalances and blockages of the chakra system with the goal of healing and spiritual awareness. And so that's what you've learned. In the process of the seven years, you've learned two or 12 years, however you want to take it. You can do five plus seven, but you've learned to, um, and I believe that the struggle, the real struggle was five years and the waiting patiently after seven years of them trying to see exactly that what you bring to the table for them and them being around fake people who are yes men who keep um, making them feel like it's okay to, um, making them feel like it's okay to, to um, be broken. That's how I see it. And, you know, you're just like, I'm, I'm done with this, you know. I'm really done with this. Hold on, my pretty needs me. Hold on. Okay. So, yeah, I just believe that when it comes to all of these different energies, you're just trying to show them a better way. And so with you showing them a better way, sometimes people try to make the situation more than what it is. And that's why I said the situation is about to explode. Because it's exploding on their part because, again, they're cutting off all of the stuff that they would normally do. I don't know why my camera keeps, um, the, um, it keeps flashing on, it looks like to me. But anyway, they're trying to um, uh, ignore the fact of what it is that they want, saying they're single, but they're really cutting off everything and uh, shutting down the past energy. And they're going to try to bring you a love offer, but they're going to do it in the wrong way. And um, now you have thing, you have to look at things from a different perspective and they're realizing your innocence. They're seeing things from a new perspective and they're going to message you in regards to a bottom of the deck is investigating. Again, why did I see invest? That was on my last read, I think. Investigation was my last read, yeah. Um, invest it says message. They want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know you have to do the right thing. And that's where this energy comes in at is because they know 
that you have to do the right thing. They have to do the right thing. And so all of this stuff here, you have to be able to forgive them. And they don't think that that's going to be the case. And you have to, they have to prove their love to you. And you don't think that's the case. So investigating there, they are secretly snooping around and asking friends about you in order to see if you're dating someone new. And so that is why they're worried about what you're doing. And they're telling their friends, they're telling your friends that you, they haven't done this and they haven't done that. Something that they wouldn't normally do, but they think that that's proven their love to you by you reach them reaching out to someone else. And you're just like, I don't tell my friends my business. If I told them half of the stuff that we went through, um, they wouldn't even look at me the same way. Anyway, the innocence is there. Your innocence and kind heart makes them love you, but feel they must push you away to protect you from themselves. Yeah, and the broken promises, promises. Anyway, <laughs> um, the fake friends. So you know that a lot of the people that have been around them aren't going to tell them the truth about all of the extra stuff. And you know that some people that have been around you and that they've known for you to be around, they look at you with a side eye anyway because of the way you're able to manifest and get the things that you want. So therefore, they're not going to come back and tell you anything that this person is saying or they're not going to tell them anything that they want to hear which a real friend will be like yeah well she still has to move on but that's not what they're going to do so again you're going to be like and you ask too well you know that's just my coworker, or you know that's just somebody that i met mess dealing with you um and now i don't tell them anything it's only one person that is not going to sit there and um talk to them about your feelings and talk to them about their feelings uh, to you because they don't have access to that person if that makes sense that's just how I kind of see it when it comes out this way and so the new perspective it says um, they've gained a new perspective and now they see they failed you by their own sabotaging behavior and so that is the thing that they have to work on and it's a part of the shock or something that you had to work on in regards to being able to get over them and knowing their path and knowing how to protect yourself based upon their brokenness and their promises and even though you have proof of all proof of all this other things the memories of why you decided to love them wasn't just about sex it was about more than that it was about what you saw the potential you waiting patiently you know, seven years down the line for them to get over the things that they had going on, which was yes, man, fake people that were just going to keep condoning all of the stuff that they did in the past. And so therefore, now it's a situation to where they have to be able to move forward. But it's not by them talking to someone else. It's about them actually coming to you. And, and will you forgive them? That is totally up to you. That's not what I'm here for. That's what you have to decide what you want to do in regards to the situation. So I'm going to pull from, I forget the name of this card deck. Let me see if I can look and see. I'm going to pull from this card deck. What is it? The, I want to say it's from the Everyday Witch Tarot, but I don't know what the name of it is. But anyway, this is something that they have to do, and you have to move forward and let this happen and unfold the way it is. Will you forgive them? That's totally up to you. I mean, I could pull a card, but I'll just tell you that this card deck is going to tell you to move forward in the nicest way. Three of Pentacles, yeah. What's what's the saying? Teamwork makes the spell work. And so bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles. You're finding people who complete you and not deplete you. This is you implementing and co collaborating and learning from others and learning that, you know, it's time for you to clean up the mess that you waited patiently for and you didn't work on yourself. Again, tidy up your life so that you can make, uh, make space for something better. And that's what they know that you're doing. And they're afraid of it. So the investigation is happening because they see things in a new perspective. But the Two of Cups energy, again, um, wait, the Two of Cups is in my lap. No, it's right here. The Two of Cups energy and them seeing it from a different perspective. They're like, um, here it is. The Two of Cups is a soulmates and connections place. And you're like, no, struggle there. And it says Two of Cups. Some people are like the pumpkins to your spice and you know that this person is it's more than just intimate to you but you are able to look at things in a different perspective and the six of pentacles every blessing you give will eventually be returned to you and that's what's happening and that's what's going to happen so here is the thing even though we don't want to see this person with anyone else we want it to return to us you know if you make this promise to me and you make it back in one piece and you can go with your dog that was the energy that you were in when it came to going with anything and going with anyone and finding 
you know, and letting this person be who they were going to be. But it's not enough for you anymore. And so you're giving nature and your uh, loving understanding for this two of cups and also the way that you love and, and protect and give and accept. It's like the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. What an abundant opportunity. You're finding opportunities because the universe sees your heart. This person sees your heart. But at that same time, is it going to be enough for this for you to go back and accept it based upon the memories in the past of the broken promises? The book of promises, promises. So you have to be the one to make those decisions. Um, I want to pull from another card deck. I'm just trying to figure out which one I want to pull from because, again, you it, the ball is in your corner. That's kind of how I see it. It's in your corner, and you have to be the one to decide if this is what you want to do. Um, I don't remember the name of this card deck, but it is. Yeah, it's something. I don't know what the name of it is. Let me see if I can look at it. But I like it. But anyway, I think it's a smaller version of the real, the real card. Yeah, it's toxicity. So, again, pick your poisons, right? Pick your poisons. You have to pick your poisons. You have to be able to be the one to decide if this is the red or blue pill that you're picking. And also, yeah, this is contracts, 50-year plans. Yeah, a night owl, you could be dealing with somebody that was toxic. And this is a contract that if you decide whether marriage, whether or not night owl, you're going to be right there. If you look at this, it's three men here at Denny's. Ugh, I remember those nights. At Denny's, you're the only girl, but it's 3 o'clock in the morning. And you have to know if this is something that you want to do. You have to pick your poisons. Nobody can pick them for you at the end of the day. We all live in a situation to where we have to, be, uh, you know, deal with childish things. We have to deal with some childish things. We all have to grow up. We have to stop playing with our toys. We have to do all of these different things when it comes to bottom of the deck. Yeah, finding love. <laughs> so you pick your poisons and the, uh, the po poster. Yeah, you pick your poisons. The duck is drinking chocolate milk. You know, this is what you want to see. It's like you conforming to your environment. I don't know. So that's kind of how I see this energy, you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck, and then I'll pull from the four agreements. You have to be able to make and, and decide your contract. Basically, let me tell you what this reminds me of, just with seeing this um, and the catfish and all this other stuff. Uh, Christian Gray. Christian Gray from the Fifty Shades of Gray. Remember, she had to make a contract of what she wanted. You know, did she want kids? Did she want this? Did she want to do that? Did she want to sleep in a room by herself? Moonstone, our energy, right? Cancer energy. You know, did she want to sit in the, sit, stay in the room by herself? Did she want to um, uh, partake into his toxicities or his energies? What she wants to do. But when she set the contract, she sat down and became, she did something that, it wasn't just about intimacy. It was about the whole thing. And that's basically what I believe a cancer is when it comes to love. Um, and seeing that movie, I believe he's a either an Aries or a Gemini. And I believe she's a cancer. That's just how I see that. And so there you have it. Uh, uh, yeah, there you go. Don't take anything personal. And this is the same card. You've seen how it just popped out. This is the same card that popped out in my last read. So Maybe you guys should go to my last read. It says um, separation and uh, the grass is greener. The grass isn't always greener or something like that. Anyway, don't take things personally. Our energy, the moonstone, release the release self-judgment. Even the opinions you have about yourself are not necessarily true. Therefore, you don't need to take whatever you hear in your mind personally. And so all of this stuff about witchcraft, all this stuff, it, you know, is here. But you have to be the one to decide what it is that you want to do. You want to help. You want to be catfish. How do you feel in regards to being abundant and, and working with somebody as a team? So you have to set the contract and release the need of someone else's opinion. So the moonstone is your crown, third eye, and sh uh, sacral chakra. Goddess energy, which is our energy, inspiration, and intuition. Trust your intuition. Be inspired by the things that you want. And also, always have goddess energy, which you do. You love unconditionally. And that's why the Six of Pentacles is here somewhere. 
it's right here somewhere. Where's the Six of Pentacles? That's why the Six of Pentacles is here somewhere because, again, every blessing you give will eventually be returned to you. Now, again, it will return when you least expect it. You just have to send strength and healing, period, to a person, place, thing, or a situation. And that's what it is. And that's the, the affirmation for the crystal deck. I allow my true inner self to shine through. Again, release the self, uh, release self judgment. And look at this. Look at the book. The book is shining through. Look at that. I allow my true inner self to shine through. So there you have it. Pick your poisons and go from there and make your contracts based upon your opinion, your your need of what it is that you want moving forward. And don't allow. Oh, and contracts are here, too. That's crazy. So development of information and contracts is right here. I didn't even remember that until I just looked over here, which is the page of swords energy, having clarity about what it is that you want moving forward. And that is what separation causes. It causes you to be able to create the contract that you want moving forward. This could be with your this old person. This could be with a job. This could be with moving forward with the new person. But you're going to make everybody that comes in your circle, you know, uh, prove their love and their energy towards you is it negative and then you're going to be able to say i forgive you or i don't or i love you or i don't and that's a part of understanding where the shoppers lie at so that's kind of how i see that and going from there okay so yeah i just believe that you know all of the contracts and i don't know what i was just saying i think i was telling you about 50 shades of gray and the contracts yes i was i was telling you about the development of contracts so when it comes to what it is that you want moving forward with anyone, you're going to release the, their, your self-judgment of yourself and theirs, and you're going to say exactly what you want. They have to prove it. Do you have to be able to say if this is a true love or a true energy, and if you'll ever be able to forgive them for stepping over your boundaries because you're not going to allow nobody to catfish you anymore. And catfishing, to me, can be you dealing with a fake person it could be you meeting a new person it could be them just playing games with you to get the things that they want uh intimacy and things like that but you have to be able to set your goals say the things that you want out of the situation and again back to 50 shades of gray she set the contract so if you're willing to deal with the late night early mornings the toxicity of what this person has going on in their life and they're always want to stay this single looking type of energy then you have the ability to say, this is a hard no, this is a hard yes, I'm not going to play games with you, this is how I want it to be set up, if I deal with this stuff, you're the person who has the right to do that, and so I cannot, I will never judge you on what you choose to accept, but you have to be able to accept the things that you want, and they have to be able to, no, you, they have to be able to accept the things that you want, and you have to be able to, to accept the things that they want, and it's compromise, it's a Venn diagram, however big it is, but if it makes sense to you, I cannot judge you in regards to that, so again, make them prove it, and then also the contracts coming, moving forward will be the ones that you want to set up, because you're going to be abundant with or without this person, and they're always going to be a curious in regards to what it is that you're doing and what it would be like without you so there you have it let's go ahead and let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys